Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Metroid 4 for the Game Boy Advance. Also known as, you can probably see from the video title, Metroid Fusion. I am PK Gam and will be commentating this. So, I hope you like commentary. <laughs> Anyway, I got a little intro to the game here. I should say it's a pre-intro, I guess you could say, before the title screen. Here's Samus flying through space, and they're just roaming around here, doing, doing all right, it seems. And uh-oh, uh-oh, asteroids. This is not good. Okay, you have plenty of time to avoid this. You don't have to fly into... No, 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 no! Samus! Pay attention here! <laughs> well, <sighs> that's how the game starts, I guess. New game, begin! <laughs> so, I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. That'll sound very familiar to you Metroid fans out there. So, what's, what's up on here? Oh, it's a Hornode. At least it seems to be. Looks a little different than what I'm used to. Uh, hello! What's this gooey critter? It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. Uh, that's not good. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had invested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted, drifted into an asteroid belt, I'm sorry. So that's what happened, it wasn't just stupidity that ended up putting her in the asteroid belt. Yeah. She got KO'd and then exploded. Game over. Or is it? The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation headquarters. HQ. Ooh, gooey. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me corrupting large areas of my power suit. That's terrible. I mean, that's the source of her power. <laughs> it then came to light that the organi organic compounds of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed. That sounds very painful. Dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Oh, poor Samus. Then someone found the cure! Yay, go Samus! <laughs> they proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seemed that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. Woohoo! I'm saved! The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed! Targeted by the vaccine! Fire! That's, that's the impression I get from that. <laughs> that is most certainly a very different appearance. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived. Reborn. Well, not really. I mean, you had the same personality. as <laughs> something different. So... Here we are, in our new form, kinda. <laughs> Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. Be sure to wear your seatbelts as I uh, forget it. <laughs> I must prepare for docking. Alright, the ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures to capture there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. 
After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the VSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt, computer ICO is something I have to bear, as was the condition of my taking. This ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Command the officer, of course. And here we are at the BSL research station. Oh geez, you'll never fit through there! No, it's close, very close. Okay, we're very good. We're, everything's good. And now the game starts! For realsies, you don't really have all that much to uh, uh, control with so far, but it, it eases you into stuff. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent... This is really long. Samples from SF388, as well as parts of your suit infected, by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is as the outcome gone clear. Investigate the quarantine bay. <clears throat> I mean, investigate the quarantine bay is here. I can't read today. Move quickly and quietly. Okay, you are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. You actually can't avoid this navigation room at all. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll link from there. Yes, it is. I'll go to the quarantine bay. Alright! So, we have the power of movement, thanks to the D-pad. If you stop here, you can save your game, heal up, and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. And you can also get briefings. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> Just in case you forgot. Alright, let's move on to the left here. You can also shoot by pressing the B button, jump with the A button. That's pretty much all you can do right now. That's alright, because we don't really have all that much to do at this moment in time anyway. And, oh, I'm stuck. What a shame. <laughs> Ow. There's a lock on that door. What a shame. Well, it looks like I'm just gonna have to flop on through here, I suppose. Main deck. You're gonna get little portions here explaining things. Well, there's a navigation room. See N on the map there? I'd like to take a little peek -see up here if at all possible. Oh, man. It doesn't open. Oh, oh, well, looks like I'm gonna have to go to that navigation deck, just like I said. <laughs> but remember that other spot for later. So stop on here. You won't be able to leave until you stop on there. <laughs> the quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Alright, so we gotta go plop over in that room. Hmm, hmm. Alright, looks like we're going this way. Uh huh, there's a little passageway there, obviously. We can't exactly go through that passageway, we're just not small enough. Not small enough there either. What a shame. But there definitely is some destruction going on here. That is for sure. Well, here we are. Oh, oh, it's another Ghidorah. Hey, how's it going there? Having a. Uh, Good day. Just uh, hopping around there. Yeah, it's just okay. I'm gonna I'm just gonna kill you. Oh, 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 What happened? What, what was this craziness? Uh, okay, um, I shoot the door to go back. Got it. Good. Flashy doors are openable, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, back to the navigation room. Something, something was amiss there. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X-Parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. For the explosion, a security sensor scan one. The gelatinous X-Parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it had also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. That sounds pretty good, actually. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X-Parasites without a host. 
by, <clears throat> by melee touching them. This will allow you to replenish your health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive bio signs in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you're only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. It's yes, of course. Now get going. I released the lock on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Ah, excellent. Alright, so now we can move on. I figured this game would be a uh, nice game around the Halloween season with its spookiness and whatnot. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to mention that on my way to the next destination. So yeah, we can... Oh, jeez! Give me that! Give me that! Yellow ones recover 10 units of energy, which is your health. And that's what happened in the other room. So let's save our game here really quick, I suppose. Not really that important to do so, though, this early in the game, in my opinion. Eh, oh no. What was that? What was that? It's a zombie researcher! Oh no, it, it's it's an infected gelatinous goo by X. So yeah, there's, there's this, these goo piles, and they're harmless in themselves when they're infected by X. They turn into uh, said zombie researchers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poopers, I fell down. I uh, gotta get used to the game's controls all over again, but that is okay. Hey, navigation room, how's it going? <laughs> uh, I received news from headquarters. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Nice. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help you help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. Alright, D for data. Got it. Alright, that sounds good. Any better chance is a chance I will take. Wait, what? I forget about it. <laughs> so over here, we got another zombie researcher. We got a couple zombie researchers, actually. This is like a... Yeah, it's a blocked off room. Sort of a preview of what's to come, I guess you could say. Uh, just thought I would show you that now. For later, I'm gonna flop on up here. There we go. And heading into another cutscene. That computer reminds me of a Gruff Federation CEO I served under the name of Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on Missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect, and with some irony, I named the computer after him. <laughs> Alright, here is the operations deck. And I'm gonna take the lower route here first, because I like to get some stuff here. This is a recharge room, you use it to heal up and get your weapons recharged as well too, which is pretty nice. There's also a little save point here, which I will use, because why not? Yeah, there's a lot of save points in this game. <laughs> So, effectively, your survival rate is technically 100%. Because <laughs> even if you die, you're just gonna, just gonna respawn right back at that save point there. Yeah, I guess I'll see what's going on here. Yeah, just ahead! Awesome! Yeah, I didn't really have to stop there at all. <laughs> Alright, data room! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Missile data downloaded! Hold R and press B to use your missiles. Sweet. Ooh! Ah! Yeah, that's how it works. I'm not gonna waste them, though. You don't have very many this early in the game. Oh, jeez, what happened? What the heck's going on here? Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the targets. It's located here. I'm re reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. It's a green type of uh, parasite. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now fi find a way to the targets. Alright. Let's find a way. Let's find a way. So let's try that uh, elevator from before here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Well, looks like we're gonna have to find the way in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.